hi guys welcome to my channel today we're going to make two breakfast meals the first one is the apple crumble bowl these meals are no cook and they take less than five minutes to do so first we grate that lovely apple I'm planning on eating this bowl on my trip that I'm taking um, because you can take a grater onto in your carry-on on an airplane and this would be perfect to eat while I'm on vacation because it's very simple and also the food won't mow or get bad quickly. When choosing what apple is Dr. Saving approved, you want to go organic. Also, you want to make sure it has seeds. So walnuts is really good for your diet. It helps with inflammation. It helps with, um, it has omega-3. It helps with, with brain function. Walnuts are the best. And also, they're the easiest snack on a go because they don't, need to be refrigerated they can stay at room temperature and also everyone likes walnuts for the most part unless you're allergic to it then that's a different story Dates is also a good snack, um, as long as you don't cut them, keep them whole until you're ready to eat them. I have learned to tell if the date is good if you smell it, and I wish I smelled the one on the left because it was going bad. So make sure you smell it because you will taste it in this dish if you have a rotten date. So make sure you smell your dates to make sure they're good and making sure they don't have seeds or anything growing in them because Buds like dates as much as we do too, so make sure you check those dates. <laughs> So this dish is quick. You can even add extra things in it. Um, I usually add some key lime. For this time I didn't have any key limes. You can add other fruits. I have tried this dish with raspberries and blueberries and it works perfectly. This is quick and you can, I wouldn't prep it the night before but you can prep it the morning before. And the key lime helps the fruit not go bad so add some key lime if you don't want it to ripe quickly on you. This is also a great meal prep meal so you can take a ziplock bag, add your walnuts, add the dates and then put the whole apple inside a ziplock bag. Make a bunch of wheat so you can just grab it uh, as you walk out the door and you can make it on the go by grating it or cut up the apples really small. You can take a little knife and do that. Okay, the next quick meal is the avocado smoothie bowls. So I use one whole avocado in this video. Only we used to half because I had a lot of water right before this, so I wasn't that full. But you can do a half or a whole avocado. Either one works. You don't taste the avocado in here because of the blueberries. So add your favorite fruit. I would say add a fruit at a fruit that doesn't have a lot of seeds. So raspberries don't add it because raspberries are very seedy and you'll taste the seeds and strawberries too. So blueberries are really good for this. I haven't tried it with apples but that could work too. I add the elderberry syrup because I was getting a cold so I wanted something powerful but that's optional. You don't have to have the elderberry syrup 
and then you add the agave to make it sweet and this one you can use up to a fourth I wouldn't use more than a fourth of a cup sometimes I only put like a teaspoon tablespoon depending on how ripe the blueberries are You can also add a key lime to this. Uh, once again, I ran out of key limes. I always run out of key limes. But key limes, uh, it goes great to give that another la layer of flavor. Add a little bit of water to help with the blending process. So add enough water according to how runny you want it. If you want it really runny, add a lot of water. If you don't, don't add too much water. So it can still be like that thick smoothie. Just like the first crumble, the apple crumble, you can add whatever you want on top. And that's why I like these two meals because you can use what you have on hand or you can make it as fancy as you want it. It's up to you. So this time I put on top of um, Kamut's puffs. I got it off of Amazon. I linked the link down below. And it was so good. This meal I eat, I would say three times a week if I don't have time to cook. I usually make this smoothie because it's so good and it's, it doesn't taste like a smoothie. It's really good. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.